Hey, y'all, good Thursday afternoon. Come on in. Time to get an early dinner going. We got the George Foreman out again. We're getting ready to do some teriyaki chicken thighs. So it takes a little bit for them to cook. So I'm going to start them first, and then I'll get my veggies going. So I'm going to do some stir-fried veggies to go along with that and a baked sweet potato. So hope y'all been having a good blessed Thursday. Hope you got something good you're going to put on the stove on the grill or whatever for today but i've marinated these chicken thighs overnight Let me get the skills out y'all boy mm -hmm. i bought some new seasoning yesterday while i was at collar seeds or day for yesterday this is a uh, sweet baby ray's brand of sweet teriyaki seasoning so i put some of that on there i put some regular teriyaki sauce on there and of course, I put uh, all my seasons out of the kitchen uh, cabinet and my everything but the kitchen sink season. You know, onion powder, garlic powder, a little curry, all that mixed in together and just sprinkled it. And I'm going to put a little bit, shit, notice I said a little bit, we use the smoked uh, seasoning. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on it. Oh, that's the TV y'all here in the background. Hold on just a second. Okay, I had to turn it down. Somebody was, that was a movie on. And all of a sudden, the man started fussing him. He was serious about that thing. So, anywho, I put a little bit of that uh, smoke season. Remember, don't put a lot of that smoke stuff on there. Because it's, uh, <clears throat> it's kind of sort of strong, if you know what I mean. And when you put it on, whatever you put it on, I just waited till now to put it on. So, uh, it would just sort of be on top, sort of mix in lightly. And... Uh, because I can't eat a lot of hot stuff, I'm going to put a little bit of Tabitha's seasoning in on top. Some tab Tabitha's. I, I think of this as like a little Caribbean thing because it's got the little pineapple in it. But we can take a little bit of heat in that. I think, you know, when you have a little sweet and a little heat because, you know, teriyaki is a little bit sweet. Uh, and it's just really good. And it's going to be something different. Um... Let me get my little pan. There's a little pan that you put under that George Foreman to catch the juices. Please don't let me forget to put the pan under there. So I don't, okay, there we go. I don't burnt the thing on the stove already, but that's okay. It'll be fine. All righty. <clears throat> so let's just get this going. And I'm going to put... Um, I put a little bit of olive oil on top of the meat last night when I... Uh, put it in to marinate a little bit. So what I'm going to do now, because this is just me, I'm going to put me a little bit more olive oil on my griddle. Not that it really needs it, because y'all see that this griddle is one of those kind of, like, a, I'd say the old Teflon. That's all it is. So what I'm going to start doing now, Kareem had asked me how many I could get on here. I think I can get six. There's one. Oh, these are kind of big. I might not be able to get six on there. I didn't know they were that big. Each. Mm. Maybe I can get four, you think? What y'all think? Let's try for four. We don't want to cry out too much. I think I got either. I got ten of them. So these are good size uh, thighs. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stick four of them on there. How's that? How's four? Okay. Put four, and then I'm going to put me a little bit of olive oil right on top. Right on top there. So they'll stay nice and moist. And I, I don't think that'll hurt the grill itself. And we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of tapioca because it's, it's got a little heat to it. Kareem likes hot food, so I'm going to, I'm going to he like his with a little bit of heat. So we're going to give him a little bit more. We're going to heat four of them up. And, this, and I want y'all to know now, this seasoning is kind of got a little heat to it, so don't put too much. Okay, now I'm going to let the lid down so they can go ahead and cook. There we go. Yeah. This is my nice new George Foreman grill. So while those are cooking, and I'm thinking it's going to take at least... 20 minutes. We'll see. We'll check them. These are not breasts now. These are thighs. So that it takes a little bit longer for thighs to cook. So while that's cooking, 
I'm gonna go off and wash my veggies and get them ready for my stir fry. So y'all hang tight, I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere except to go get something to cook so you can get in the kitchen and cook with me. Be right back. Okay, got that first pan of them out. So they're looking pretty good. I'm gonna sit them in the oven so they'll stay warm. They cook in about 10 minutes, y'all, and these are thighs. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Time to get these veggies going. I'm gonna go and get my olive oil in the pan. Good and hot. I'm gonna put some green peppers in first. I got some Brussels sprouts and some shredded cabbage to go in. Um, I think it's about time for my next batch of chicken. Off. What I'm doing is I'm I'm marinating it, marinating it, marinating it in uh, its own juices, just flipping it back and forth. I think yeah, yeah. These are wonderful. That that broth is coming off of that. It's wonderful. I'm gonna let the top down on it one more time. I don't think it, you know I cooked. The, I'm sort of cooking this batch a little bit different, so let it stay on there more time. Okay. Put that lid back down on it. Let it cook a little bit more. I got my uh, oil heating up over here for my veggies. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting them in here shortly to get them cooking because it's gonna take about 10, 12 minutes on this stir fry. And we'll be on our way to having our dinner ready, okay? Now right, we have to get everything all seasoned up onto itself. So let that grease get good and hot before I put anything else in. All my other stuff is already shredded up. I'll put my uh, Brussels sprouts in after the peppers and then I get my onions going. And then I'll get my cabbage will be the last thing I put in. Those cat shredded cabbage will cook a little bit faster than everything else because they're shredded cabbage. Uh, the Brussels sprouts, about a pound of Brussels sprouts, uh, half a pound of cabbage, a large green pepper, and a medium sized onion. Slice. So, come in, come in, come in. Okay. We'll let that heat up a little bit more. Just put those peppers in. That oil is hot, hot enough now. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the last batch of these um, chicken thighs. Get them going. This is this is really really I like this girl form of cook cook. Cause it could be five in about twelve minutes now. But you know, of course I'm turning them back and forth to make sure they're good and good. So that was uh that's it. Get them on there, get them cooked. Okay, got those peppers cooking in there pretty good. It's gonna take a minute or two or so. Get that heat as high as you can <clears throat> on that. You don't have to worry about it burning. Since you need stir fry, you need the heat high to spread these around a little bit. Okay. Okay. Got that going. And we, it's, like I said, it's going to take 12 to 15 minutes to get this all cooked up and ready um, to put everything in together. Cause not, and I'll season it. Ooh. Ooh, that fell out of the sky. Put a little bit of garlic powder on those peppers. And it's going to take... <clears throat> okay. Got my Brussels sprouts all sliced up. I'm gonna go ahead and season them right here on top of this bowl. Okay. Everything but the kitchen sink. Get them going in there. Push those onions right on top of them. And those cabbage will be the last thing I do to shred the cabbage. Last 
So in my stir fry now, I've got onion powder, garlic powder, um, everything but the kitchen sink seasoning, and those veggies are Brussels sprouts. I slice them up, as you can see. Slice Brussels sprouts, slice onion, slice green pepper, and then I've got some shredded uh, sliced cabbage to go in. So we're gonna have a nice, big, healthy pan of uh, stir fried veggies. This is gonna be so good, y'all. Mm-mm, good. Yes, ma'am, yes, sir. We're just gonna keep them tossed around for another couple of minutes, and then what I'll do, like I said, I'll go in with the, I'm gonna put just a little bit of that Caribbean seasoning on there. <clears throat> and we'll put a little bit of chicken base in the pan. Just a little extra added flavor. Y'all know we all about the flavor over here. By the way, I hope y'all still tuning in for Tony's channel, Flavor Train. She's still posting. I think both of us have pulled back a little bit. About a half a teaspoon of uh, that chicken bouillon seasoning. Work it around in there. Work it in on those veggies. Getting ready for those cabbage here shortly to go in. Ooh, I see I missed cutting up one of my y'all uh, Brussels sprouts in there. Gotta get that cut up. Took a little extra time to cook when they're whole like that. So that one, let me see if I missed another one. Yeah, I did. I missed two, I reckon. I missed two. They want to cut them up. They leave them sort of chunky because you like to, you know, chew on them Brussels sprouts, y'all. We need some more oil at the bottom of my pan. And I'm on my way to having this stir fry done, done, and done. Get my little chef ball. Get me some olive oil at the bottom of the pan done. Okay, there we go. That's where we are. Mmm. <coughs> okay. Like I said, this one has cooked about 2 or 15 minutes. I'm, I'm going to put that cabbage in here shortly. Put this a little bit more. And then we'll get the cabbage in. But go nowhere. Okay, y'all. It's already there. It is that stir fried vegetable uh, medley with cabbage, Brussels sprouts, onions, green peppers. Uh, baked sweet potato, uh, buttered rice, and that good old George Foreman grill chicken thighs, teriyaki chicken thighs, y'all. So we're ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy this meal. Thank y'all for stopping by, and thank you for your prayers, your well wishes, comments, and your compliments. And most of all, thank you all for standing with me and continuing to pray without ceasing for the things that's going on around this world and our communities, our families. Uh, on our jobs, in the schools, on behalf of our children. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you and keep you through all the things that uh, you're doing in life. And always, always, always pray without ceasing because there's always something to pray about, something to give thanks about, something to thank God for allowing us to have and to do. And just uh, thank God for prayer. Thank God that he gave his disciples the Lord's Prayer. So if you can't pray, it won't come up. Remember the Lord's Prayer. Most of us learn that. The vast majority of us learn that coming through somewhere along the way. So thanks again. Love you guys. Get in that kitchen to cook you something good to eat. And do something kind for somebody. A word, a deed, a cash app, a card, a phone call, something. Just do something to make somebody's day. Love you guys. Toodles. Pray without ceasing, y'all.